Hey guys, it's Adam from Dynamic Training Rehabilitation and Bogart Performance Systems Incorporated. I got a text message from one of my athletes from the University of West Virginia Soccer. Um, she had leg and arm cramps after she's doing a, um, a soccer tournament and she didn't have any foam rolling or any kind of uh, stick with her and she wanted to know what she could do besides nutrition to help her get her cramps out. Uh, she's in the tournament all weekend so we couldn't do that. So what I did is I posted that exact test on Twitter and Facebook. I got a lot of response from it of what different therapists, trainers, and just athletes would do. Uh, so I decided to put together a quick video to show you what I would recommend to my athletes if they don't have any other tools with them to help bring out any muscle cramps or muscle pain when they're away at school or just in general. Uh, a couple things you can find in your house here. Uh, cold beer or cold pop. Uh, this is just a package of rice in a blanket. Some moisturizer cream a knife and a spoon. Now you can use either or, a knife or a spoon. So the moisturizer cream is the same stuff we use with my professional Olympic and everyday clients in our clinic. So you can probably find this stuff in your kitchen, in your bathroom, or anywhere in your house. Uh, so the major thing you want to do with the, uh, with the arm or the calf is to first warm up the area. There's two ways you can do this. You can grab a soup can and do a few exercises to draw blood to that muscle. Or you can use this handy thing here. Grab a little bit of rice, heat it up in the microwave, and throw it on your arm for about 30 seconds. Once that 30 seconds is up, we're going to a little bit of mild fascia release. You're going to take your moisturizing cream, about a half a tablespoon, and you're going to wipe it, you're going to kind of warm up your arm with it. You're going to get that all over. Now you're going to take the, the back of the spoon or the dull edge of the knife. Make sure it's the dull edge of the knife. And you're going to add a little bit of a stretch to that muscle with about a 45 degree angle on the back of the spoon. Now you're going to feel all this grittiness through the edge of the spoon. Now you're going to go for about 30 or 40 times in that same direction, always going up towards the armpit, because you all the lymphatic nodes are in your armpit here, so make sure the fluid goes down there. If you go towards your hand, you can get a uh, inflamed or big hand, a lot of crap fluid around your hand. So you see here, if you can zoom in a little bit, Taylor, you can see a little bit of a uh, redness starting to pop up in my arm. That's a good sign. It's more blood flow, so adhesion is breaking down. Now essentially, fascia covers every muscle tissue. If you have adhesions between the muscle and the fascia, it's going to prevent it from gliding over top of another, causing pain, discomfort, and lax movement. Now I'm showing you the forearm, because everybody has forearm issues. Every athlete comes to me, pain in the forearm, can't bench, can't squat, can't front squat, can't deadlift, my forearm hurts. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now you're going to go into so you get a nice, great red reaction, or 30 or 40, 40 reps here. Now I'm, I'm really fair skinned, so you're going to see a lot of uh, redness popping up here. I'm going to fall all the way up that muscle. After we do those 40 50 turns, I'm going to add a little bit of stretch to that muscle. I'm going to hold that stretch for up to 30 seconds to help heal that tissue. Now, what I'm going to do after is I'm going to take my beer or my soup can and I'm going to do a couple of actions. Now, when I do those actions, I'm going to grab the fascia go the opposite way as I'm moving it to help increase that gliding. Once we're done that for about 10 repetitions, I'm going to take the beer and then ice down my arm. The icing is going to bring down the inflammation help it to repair faster. Now while I'm icing my arm here to make it cold and make sure I'm not sore tomorrow, a couple of nutrition facts that you can help with uh, the healing. First thing is Arnica tablets, about 30 cc's of Arnica Montana. Take those nine times a day. That's going to help with the scar tissue formation. I have all my athletes take it. Just so they don't get all this grittiness and all that rice crispy stuff in their, um, in their muscle tissue. Good, so this is going to be about 30 seconds. After you've done that, I'm going to show you how to do the calves. Calves are even easier. We can, don't have to do the, the rice or anything like that. First thing we're going to do with calves is we do about 20 calf raises. Come to a chair, get that muscle warmed up. Once the muscle's warmed up, I'm going to put it on the chair for you to see. Same thing, I'm going to grab the moisturizer cream. Everyday Johnson Johnson moisturizer. And you rub it all through your calf. And I'll take that back edge of the knife this time. You'll find that grittiness. Go in between the gas rocks and the soles. Hit up the peroneal muscles. Now, again, add a light stretch to the calf so you can either do a little bit of a heel raise and feel where that grittiness is. Again, 30 or 40 times, going all the way up. After you do that 30 or 40 times, I want you to stretch out the calf. You feel a nice, good stretch in that calf. Add a little bit of beer ice, and that's it. 
Now we're just showing you a little bit of home remedies here to help yourself um, recover faster and recover better. A lot of times with our athletes, we give them self myofascial release programs, neuromuscular activation, and stretching programs to follow when they're on the season and off season when they're at school and their teams and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is just a backup in case anything happens, you don't have your stick, you don't have your phone, or you forget what to do. Always consult your healthcare practitioner, your doctor, your chiropractor, osteopath, massage therapist before you do this. Don't just blindly go out and start rubbing down muscles. Talk to them, send them an email, send them a text, get some information out there for you. Hope you like this. If you have any questions, leave it below down on YouTube. Send me an email, adam at dynamictraining.ca. We'll see you again for a couple more videos that help you with your performance.